Hey guys, it's time for a quick stretch break. Just sit up tall in your chair. Let's take both hands reaching overhead. Reach nice and high. And just release your hands. Let's reach side to side. If you're leaning over, really reach through your fingertips. Get one more each side. And then both hands take it high again and release down. Let's do a little twist here. So I'm gonna have you bring one hand across, take it right to your desk um, or your table, and your other hand can reach behind you to your chair, your seat, or that seat back. And you're just gonna sit up tall and twist. So you're turning to look over your back shoulder. And we'll hold it here for about 10 seconds. And I just want you to keep taking those nice deep breaths. One more breath right here. And start to turn back towards center. Let's take both hands up high again. And now come over to the other side. One hand reaches across, the other hand reaching towards the back of your chair or the back of your seat. And we're letting that waist turn through and we're turning the head here as well. That's gonna start stretching your neck out a little bit. Get one more big breath right here. Deep breath in and let it out. All right, come back to center. Big stretch up. We are gonna get up from this desk. Bring your hands down and let's stand up. I want you to take a couple seconds to loosen up your legs. So we're just gonna march just a gentle low march here, focusing on bringing the knees forward for now. Okay, and then we're gonna make a change. Let's take the heels towards the glutes. Okay, so that will start to warm up the front of your thighs. Okay, and we get really tight in here from sitting. All right, so they're a little warmed up. Now we're gonna go to a stretch. So our first stretch is for our quadricep, the front of the thigh. You've got two options here. First option is to just take a traditional quadricep stretch. So you're bringing your heel towards your glute and you're trying to keep those knees close together, not way out here, okay? If that's too much for you or if you know, you're not reaching your ankle or foot, I want you to take your chair, be close to something that you can support yourself with like a wall, and then you're gonna set your foot on that chair, make sure you have a little room, and then you start to come down. So instead of holding it here, that chair is gonna hold your foot for you, and you'll feel that stretching through the front of your thigh, and also into your hip flexor. We're just gonna hold this one a few more seconds. And start to come up. So we're gonna keep stretching that same leg. So take your stretching leg and you're gonna cross it over the other leg. And we'll get those feet pretty close side by side. That uh, crossed over leg will be a little bit forward. So we're gonna lean in the opposite direction. I want you to take that cross side arm, take it way up and then lean over in the opposite direction. So we're gonna feel this really nice lengthening going up and down that side of the body. Okay, you're gonna feel that even in the outside of your hip, in your waist, right underneath your arm. And again, we're really reaching through that, that top hand, reach through your fingertips. Let's get one more breath here and carefully come down. So we're keeping this cross and now we're gonna fold forward. So I would start by taking it easy, take your hands above your knee and just start to roll down, okay? If you want to release your hands to reach lower, you can. You can bring them to the floor or to your ankles. And we're just holding it here. So we have a little bend in those knees. We're gonna feel this through the back of our legs and our hamstrings. And this cross also helps us to get into the outside of our thigh as well, into that IT band. All right, carefully come on up. I'm gonna give myself a little more room here. 
We are doing one more stretch on that same stretching side. So your stretching leg is gonna step back and you'll need to be near a wall or your desk for this one. Hands will go on to something. Take your non-stretching leg and step it forward, okay, towards your support. Mine's gonna be the wall. And we're gonna bend into that knee and then this back leg, we're pushing the heel into the floor and really pressing down firmly. And this will stretch the back of your lower leg into your calf, okay? If it doesn't feel like enough stretch for you, I'd like you to try a couple things. Step a little further back for one, but also make sure that your toes are pointing forward. If your foot is turned out, you're not gonna feel this one as much as you could. We'll just hold here for another second or two. Okay, come on up. Let's go right into that other side, starting with our quad stretch. So remember, you've got options here. You can be pulling that heel towards your glute. Again, keeping your knees close together side by side. Or you can take that stretch by placing your foot on a chair. Give yourself a little room and then start to sink down. And just let that chair hold your foot for you. And that should feel pretty nice. Okay, come on up. We're staying on that same stretching side. Get planted firmly into your other leg. And now cross the stretching leg over. Okay, feet are pretty close together. And we're gonna do that lean. So we're leaning away from our front leg. So we're gonna reach long. And then also take your gaze up. So that's gonna help you to find more opening and lengthening, which is what we want when we're stretching. And we're really reaching through this top arm and finding that lean out to the side. One more breath right here, deep breath in and let it out. Carefully come back up, make sure you're good and balanced, okay? And we're gonna start coming forward. Again, hands can come onto thighs, they can come down lower, reaching towards ankles or even to the floor, okay? You can even hold a chair here that might feel a little more supported if you're unsure of it. My neck is nice and relaxed, neutral neck. One more deep breath in and let it out. Carefully come back up. And we're gonna do that calf stretch on the other side. So remember our stretching leg is gonna step back, okay? So I'm gonna take it long step back and then I'm bending into the front knee I'm really pressing down into the back heel. So I feel that nice lengthening going up and down my lower leg through my calf. If you want a little more, scooch that foot back, just an inch or two. Okay, let's carefully come up. Guys, I wanna take a couple deep breaths with you. We'll also stretch the upper body as we do this, okay? Make sure you have enough room um, out to your sides. We're gonna take a deep breath in, take your arms out really wide, and then exhale, reach way forward and press your chin down onto your chest. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Deep breath in, point your thumbs back, really spread your arms wide. And exhale, reach forward, press your chin down to your chest. One more time here, deep breath in, let it out, and relax your arms down, shake them out. All right guys, I hope you're feeling a bit recharged. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.